Another one of the great uh, tricks you can use with Google Apps uh, for education in particular is something called organizational units. So here is an example of uh, a school that has Google Apps for Education edition. In, in other words, they've been approved. When you first start your account, you'll notice it doesn't say Google Apps for Education, and Google actually has to review your application, uh, which can take a little bit of time. But once um, once Google Apps for Education is, is upgraded, you can go into Organization and Users, and you can see over here, I have the ability to add sub-organizations. So I could create additional organizations under ColumbiaSecondary.org in this case. Um, so there might be another organizational unit called Staff, um, just making one up. And if I add it, you can see a new container is created, and I can add users in, in that container. So you can see what I did uh, here was I set up a container for employees, a container for parents, a container for students. And what's nice about this is um, not only can you stay organized, uh, for example, with students, uh, we're looking at cohorts. So um, we did a, a system here where uh, student usernames were actually uh, tagged to their cohort. Um, you don't have to do this. But uh, what's nice is, uh, let's say a group of students graduates, uh, you don't have to eliminate their accounts if you want to turn off certain services. Uh, you can see, you can control services by group. Um, so this is super handy, um, particularly if, uh, if you have certain private, privacy concerns or legal concerns around uh, providing uh, younger students uh, certain kinds of uh, access. This allows you to really dial, dial down and, and fine tune your settings. So organizational units are totally the way to go. Um, so you'll want to set those up probably before you start importing users, but it's not necessary. Um, if you import all your users, you can move your users later into these units. Um, but there it is.